Hey guys, it's Laura Beth. Um, I wanted to do a video today. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get one out. I know it's been like a week since the last one I've done one. Um, I've just been working weird hours lately and haven't had a whole lot of time to catch up <clears throat> on my videos. So the one that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be reviving um, your eyeshadow or blush. Um, like you know, stuff that you have laying around in your cosmetic bag that you really like. You you want to use it, but you don't want to throw it away, or it's broken, and you want to fix it. The items that you will need is um, the container, the original container, and the substance itself. Um, a little thing to, to mix it in, or you can do like I do. Um, depending on how big your pot is, you can use the, the um, paint palette that I have. Um... You'll need a teaspoon, a stir, or um, some kind of flattener. And then you will need um, some isopropylone, 70% proof. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start crushing up the broken product. Just trying to break it away from the um, the original pod that it came from. Um, you don't have to crush it up finely. Just get it off the um, pot itself. Like that. Um, to make sure that the stuff that you have cleaned out is completely gone, I'll take a paper towel or a wash rag or something to make sure that everything is out. Because um, when you put the, the new stuff back in it, you're going to want it to be able to stick to a clean surface. Okay, we got our stuff in our mixing bowl, and we're going to take a um, teaspoon of isopropylene, or AKA rubbing alcohol. And you want to finally crush up your stuff. You probably want to do this before, but you can do it um, after you've already added the isopropyl on. Um, add slowly um, a teaspoon at a time until you get a paste substance. Get it all mixed up. And this is what it looks like right now. The blush that I had that was dry, it looks like that. Okay. And we're going to take it from the original mixing bowl and put it back into the pot that it was in.
Okay, and when you get it into the original pot, you're going to want to take and spread it out evenly. It's not the best spreading job, but you get the idea. Okay, and once you've got that all flattened out, what you're going to do is you're going to let it set for anywhere from 8 to 16 hours, depending on how big the, the eyeshadow or the blush is. And then after it is completely dried and it's laid on a flat surface, um, it, will, it will be ready to use. So, I hope you liked the video. Uh, post your comments below. Um, please subscribe to my channel. My YouTube um, page, my fan Facebook page, um, my Twitter account, um, at Laura Beth Brock on Twitter, and then also follow me on my Wix page. That's w i x dot com backslash Laura Beth Brock, all one word backslash Laura Beth Brock, all one word. Until next time.